the one rib, pour out the Jameson for ancestors to swig. You rescue me yet again. You put me first everywhere. You make me feel better than the mother too. You rescue me yet again. You put me first everywhere. You make me feel better than the mother too. Thanks for tuning to the Black Fathers in this tip of Cleveland. Really appreciate your love. Make sure you guys click the link in the bio, click the link in the bio, like, subscribe, you know what to do. Um, www.blackfathersofcleveland.com. That's our website if you want to go check out some of the things that we're doing in the community. Really appreciate the love, and you know what we do here is all black everything, black love, black excellence, black relationships, black community, black solutions, black knowledge, just all black everything here. So um, this is going to be me reviewing um, Kevin Samuels. This is a young lady calling in, basically, like a lot of young women talking nowadays. She's like, what do I need a man for? And I'm making all the money. So let's watch how um, Kevin breaks her down and lets her know. Because I think a lot of women, for some reason, have that mentality like money. But I'm telling you, I've, I've, I, most of the women that I come across, they definitely you know, some understand the importance of a man. You know what I mean? And some definitely be like, oh, I want a man this and I want a man that. But at the same time, you know, you just can't jump into a relationship. You know, you gotta know a person's morals and values and if that person gonna be the person for you. So, um, but at this, like I said, um, right now with the independent woman, you know, mentality, like I said, it's a lot of women out there who want a man but I feel don't know how to treat a man, don't know how to keep a man. Um, because once again, they're so independent that, you know, it, it either makes the, it, it makes the, either makes the man feel some type of way or it makes the relationship feel some type of way. But check out what Kevin Samuels got to say, see what he's talking about. Good. So, what's your, what's your disagreement? My disagreement is just basically about the fact that black women shouldn't have to feel obligated to smile to black men. We're holding a lot of trauma. We're holding a lot of problems, oh, mental yeah. health issues. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. How old are you? 24. Um, you know, you have to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say this one more time. I need you to pay attention. I need all black women to pay attention. The world does not owe you understanding or me understand. If you have all this trauma, go seek professional help because the rest of us do not have to suffer you. Okay, it's easy to tell black women is, and black people not, in the black community no, to get help. responsibility is it to get the help they need? But it's not available readily to our community. That is that bullshit. Who's With the wealth gap growing, how many people can Whose responsibility afford? is it to get the mental health they need? Who? It is ultimately the responsibility of us to get the mental health that we need. But I'm you letting mean, you know you that the we are very underserved. You can't make this stuff up. <laughs> you, so you say we're underserved. You got to tell me that the, the therapists that are already exist are overloaded. We don't go get help, ma'am. Just had a therapist on here before. I talked to psychiatrists and I, first of all, I understand who you're talking to. I know <laughs> hundreds of people. Anyway, what do black people tend to deal with? How do black people tend, black women tend to deal with their mental health issues? With a licensed clinician? Or with Jesus. Jesus. That is what's pushed to us since no, no, from no, the no, age of your little. No, no, man. That's I asked, I, no, I asked it. who. You see, I asked who they see. We're not gonna play. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna play the lily pad game. Did it go to a clinician or did it go to the church? The church most often. All right, and these are educated. These most of these women are educated. 
and they've heard about therapy, they make the choice not to go. No different than I'm gonna switch it up. No different than women understanding here that being 200 pounds and five foot tall is unhealthy. But yet 80% of our women are overweight and 80% of that is obese. They know the truth. They choose and to the do something else. The narrative pushed to us most often is that a guy wants a woman with a big ass. He wants, you know, a thick lady. Accountability, we always... Accountability is kryptonite to modern women. Ma'am, I, I, you, you say the traumas, if I accept them, then you got to do something about them. Because what about the traumas that the black man has to deal with? But we still have to get out here and be functioning people in society, contributing. You don't get to walk and around and say, uh, you don't get to walk around and say, have a special victim status. I'm not saying we should have a special victim status, but our circumstance is different. We are women. We uh, is, your, is your circumstance, we are less you're 24 years old, is your, circum is your circumstance harder or easier than your grandmother and your great-grandmother? Exponentially easier. We have right. access the, to information great. we didn't Exponentially have. Exponentially easier, but you're handling it worse. Your grandmother and your great-grandmother actually could work with a black man with more trauma because they understood that the black woman and the black man are on the same side. Now that we are all free and independent and to, we could do whatever we want to, why would we seek to, you know, be one with the black man? We, we even you. think that being- Thank you, thank you, thank you. Clip it, slice it, put it on World Star. She said it, not me. Now that you're independent, you we don't, don't need have to be with There you go, there you go, and there, and there you don't. go, and there you go, there you go, black man. There it is. She's finally, she finally got one to say it. Build businesses with your, us. Your, grandmother, us your grandmothers and your grandmothers and your great grandmothers had more trauma and more stress and did it better. <laughs> they have exponentially less and they're handling it worse. But it's because they're free and can do what the hell they want to. They'll need to be with you. So you don't need to feel any guilt for taking care of you, for putting yourself first and making your passion, your purpose, your priority. You don't need to feel guilty because this 24 year old woman just said it. They have no, they don't feel any guilt about it. Thank you. So don't ask black men to care about your traumas when you can't even smile at us. <laughs> RIP to Godfather. That was a quick one, but like he said, she, she pretty much said it. And um, yeah. I mean, I, you know, like I say, I'm, I'm, I'm single, but I, I date, but I'm not going to lie. I don't like lately with the dating, I've been pretty much more so on, we going Dutch. You pay your way. I pay mine. I mean, because it's just, it's, it's, it's just got to that point with the women because it's like, you know, you go out and date and you know, you're meeting women and you're wasting money. Okay, because you'll meet a woman, and as soon as y'all, you know, that's what the date is for, so that you can meet and, and learn a person. And once you meet and talk to her, have a conversation until you recognize, like, this was this was a mistake. You know what I mean? Like, this ain't gonna work. So, you know, me personally, I if I don't do Dutch, like, you know, when's the last time I went out with somebody? Well, put it like this. I would prefer Dutch. I'll, you know, sometimes women be like, you know, I, I got me and I, and I love that. Sometimes they don't and I still pay. But now it's more so let's go out for drinks. You want to go out for drinks? You want to meet for coffee? Because now it's a little something cheaper. Like I'll pay for a couple coffees. I'll pay for a couple drinks. But I'm not buying you dinner until I know that, you know, I want to take you out. Because I've even took some chicks out to dinner and they got, you know, we get to drink and they get a little drink in them and they get loud and obnoxious and you'd be like Sh girl what yeah because you didn't know you didn't know him you know what i'm saying so you got to be so it's not, i couldn't get mad at her you know what i'm saying i had to be mad at myself and be like okay next time i know you know what i'm saying because you just don't know how people act when they get a little liquor in them or something you know what i'm saying so but yeah once again appreciate the love appreciate you guys stopping by www.blackfathersofcleveland.com peace